What is going on, good people of YouTube? It is me, Chavez, back with another prize picks video for you. Today is Saturday, April 29th, 2023. We got one game going on in the NBA today, but it's a really good game between the Phoenix Suns and Denver Nuggets. As always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. We'll kick things off with a recap over yesterday's plays, and then we're diving right into the prize picks board because I have three plays that I like that I want to share with you today. So if you like the way that sounds, drop a like, drop a sub, click that notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and this channel. And without further delay, let's jump into those plays from yesterday. All right, real quick before we get into the plays, uh, got a new Discord server up. I don't know if you knew, but uh, link is in the uh, description below. Very excited. Uh, already have like 40 members. So pretty cool to have uh, everybody that watches these videos uh, over in the Discord server, already sharing slips, already giving each other uh, support and uh, just having some fun. So if you're interested in joining the community, 100% free, check the description uh, with the link. Go ahead and click it, verify you're a human being, uh, read some rules and then uh, you're in. So, all right, let's get into some player props for today. Or excuse me, let's get into our recap from yesterday. I'm a little ahead of myself. So uh, three plays that we liked that did not work out for us yesterday. In fact, the two games yesterday were completely, uh, completely bogus, man. Honestly, just not, not, not a fan of the, of the NBA product yesterday. So we had Kevon Looney over 16 and a half rebounds and assists. Did not even sniff that. Blowout really hurt his uh, minutes in the fourth quarter. And then um, we had the over Draymond Green fantasy points, 30.5. That worked out for us. So Draymond Green did us right, but uh, still just wasn't a great game overall by him. And then Xavier Tillman, over 2.5 assists, didn't come close. Another blowout ruining our day. Got 18 minutes in that entire game. Just the whole team never got off the plane. So... Xavier Tillman got caught up in the blowout and uh, really hurt his chances. Hurt hurt a lot of, of people's props, I'm sure. So one and two on the day yesterday. We're looking to bounce back today and go three and oh with our three player props. Let's head back to the prize fix board and we'll break these down. All right, starting off with our first plate of the day, heading over to the Denver side of things. I want to talk about Aaron Gordon, 22 and a half points, rebounds and assists. I like the under on this one. Let's head on over to props.cash and I'll tell you why. All right, pulling up Aaron Gordon's playoff game log. We can see he's two for five in the five games in uh, versus Minnesota in that first round. Went over twice, under three times. Now, this is not anything to like get too excited about in any direction. However, let's pull up his games versus Phoenix this season. Three meetings with Phoenix. Yes, he had some success in those games. However, some, some things to note here. In those first two games that you see on the screen, there was no Kevin Durant. That was a very, very different Phoenix Suns team. And in that last game against Phoenix where he put up 40 PRA, keep in mind, there was no Jokic in that game. There was no Jamal Murray in that game. So just by default, Aaron Gordon is going to scoop up a lot of the scoring opportunities and he did a great job. Now, I will say Durant was was active for this game. And in response, Durant put up 30 points. So it's not like Aaron Gordon was shutting Durant down or anything. But just, again, lack of star power on that team. Somebody has to score, right? Somebody has to do something. Not knocking his effort. Just saying a lot different then versus now. Now, a reason I really, really like this prop. I want to head on over to Stat Muse and show you something real quick. Spent a lot of time digging, digging up for, uh, digging this stat up and looking for this information. Actually, it's it wasn't that difficult at all. But I did want to point out that his averages versus Durant in his career are not that great. Twelve points, five rebounds, two assists, basically giving you twenty PRA in his career versus Durant. I understand many, many moons ago, as an Orlando Magic, he's not the same player, different role, but he will be tasked, you know, with with trying to contain Durant today, and so. When I look at that and I look at something that was very consistent in the first round, foul trouble for Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon, Aaron Gordon getting into foul trouble today is really going to suppress his production opportunity. If he's if he's sitting on the bench, he can't play with his friends. He can't grab boards, can't score points, can't dish assist. So, I'm looking for the foul trouble to rear its ugly head again to prevent Aaron Gordon from um, honestly 
just producing anything guarding Durant. I mean, that's not an easy task. And also, Aaron Gordon is not the he's not a top three option in this offense to score points. He gets a lot of his production uh, on putbacks, lobs, you know, back screens and all that sort of thing. He's not creating his own shot. He's not doing anything that is like taking games over. And so when I look at all that combined, it just makes me like the under on Aaron Gordon even more. So that's what we're going with today. First player prop on the board, 22 and a half rebounds, points, rebounds and assists like the under. All right, for our second player prop on the board, we're heading over to the first half point prop. And I wanna talk about a point prop that has been very, very good to many people. It's five and a half first half points, Bruce Brown. Uh, I like the over on this one. Let's head on over to props.cash, we'll talk about it. All right, so before I show you the playoff game log, well, actually the playoff games are included in this game log. So over his last 10 games, whether regular season or not, Bruce Brown has gone over this line in 10 straight games. That's pretty cool. Now you're gonna see some inflated numbers here because towards the end of the season, you're not gonna get the same competition as you would in the playoffs. But nonetheless, he's not new to, to going over this prop. Let's focus on the first round versus Minnesota. So let's bring this back down to 5.5. We can see Bruce Brown is over again, five straight games basically giving you six points every first half the only game that was a sweat was his last game on the 25th where he only took two field goal two field goal attempts he made one but luckily he uh he was able to get to the line and give us four free throws in that game so that gave him six points in the first half now his shot volume is um is fair you know his shot volume you know he's gonna give you four field goal attempts in the first half hopefully he makes three out of four and that gives us six now think of ways to how um think of ways of how bruce brown can actually hit this don't just look at this prop and say oh he's done it before he's got to do it again how can he score six points for us is it two threes is it a layup is it a trip to the foul line is it you know three jumpers is it you know an and one and a three-pointer figure out how this is going to happen it's going to give you more confidence in picking the over on this prop i suggest you do that with any prop you any prop that you select think about how that prop is going to be met figure out the why behind it it'll make a lot more sense when you start looking at these player props so give me the over for uh bruce brown five and a half first half points all right and for our third and final player prop on the board i want to go with kevin durant and i like the over on him being ashy no, I'm kidding. 27 and a half points. The only reason I said that was in an interview, somebody asked him, what's the funniest thing he's ever read about himself on Twitter? And he said that I'm ashy. And I just thought that was so funny because he's just able to laugh at himself. So uh, Kevin Durant, 27 and a half points today. Like the over on this one. We're heading over to props.cash. We're going to talk about this. All right. Kevin Durant playoff game log looks a little something like this. Three out of the last five games, he's gone over this prop. Now, first two games of that Clippers series, he was being guarded by Kawhi. That would have been such an epic, epic series if Kawhi was able to finish it out, man, just them going back and forth would have been really fun to watch. But uh, we can see that once Kawhi was ruled out for the rest of the games in that series, we can see what happened. So Durant's points go up. His shot attempts don't necessarily go up in these games. Like, I mean, they're kind of mixed up, right? 19, 17, 15, back to 19, 15. They're all kind of mixed up, right? Like he took a lot of shots in that second game versus Kawhi. Uh, and then took the same amount of shots in the last game with without Kawhi there. So just kind of a mixed bag, but roughly going to give you 17, 18 shots a game. He's just making more without Kawhi there to, you know, play defense. It just freed him up a lot. And there is nobody on Denver right now that is equal to Kawhi in terms of how he plays defense and what he brings to that side of the ball. Aaron Gordon is probably going to be tasked with guarding Durant. We talked about Aaron Gordon, Aaron Gordon's PRA and why we like the under. Um, a lot of that has to do with, with Durant probably getting him in foul trouble. So I like Durant here. Um, I do believe that we'll see a stronger Durant as the playoffs go. I think that um, that series in L.A. was not a clear picture of what to expect from Kevin Durant. I think there's still more that we can expect. And I think as the competition stiffens, 
I think we see Kevin Durant start to like elevate. Also keep in mind, this is going to be the healthiest that Kevin Durant is all playoffs. He's fresh off some rest. He's ready to roll. I don't want to wait around and see if, if he scores 28 points and then next game, oh, now I'm on the over because then it gets bumped up to 29. So I'm willing to take the over on 27 and a half points. It's something that he's been doing consistently in the playoffs. Um, I mentioned in his last game versus the Phoenix, or excuse me, versus Denver, um, in that last game, he put up 29 and he put up 30. He hung 30 on him. So nice positive history here versus this team. Playoff round two, um, I like the over for Kevin Durant, 27 and a half points. I think he gets it done. All right, let's quickly recap these three plays. We got Bruce Brown over five and a half first half points. Kevin Durant over 27 and a half full game points. And we got Aaron Gordon under 22.5 points, rebounds, and assists. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's video. Drop a comment below. Let me know who you like on the prize picks board as well as what you think about these pl uh, plops, player props that we talked about in today's video. As always, thank you all so much for the continued support, the likes, the subs, and all the comments it really helps this channel get bigger every single day as we push towards 5,000 subs fantastic stuff be sure to check the description below for the link to my new discord server already got quite a few members uh regular viewers in there talking player props talking phoenix suns talking denver nuggets so click that link in the description below answer some questions verify you're a human being and you're all set up best of luck to you all today if you tell any of these plays let me know as well and until tomorrow's nba player prop prize picks video chavez is